Oppo B59 ki laptop it does not turn on as you can see the charger has got 20 volt and there is no power at all when I try to press the power button it does not turn on let's see how we can fix this issue removing this power button to check the motherboard removing this DC jack it's powering Shaping the board after plugging it. But nothing. I need to remove this cover to really go for checking the entire board. Checking for short, I'm just putting the multimeter on beep mode, and here I'm checking the short now. Look like there is a short on this one. Okay, I'm going to check on the other side as well. More likely there is something wrong with one of these MOSFET. That's what I suspect, but uh, it should at least give me here as well. No, it is not giving me short on coil, but there is a short on these capacitors.
Okay, I will just check in details with ohm. I'm just putting the multimeter on ohm mode. As you can see, it is 21.3, 21.0. If if it is over 16, it is if it is uh, if the if the multimeter shows over 16 ohm, that means it is a confusion. If it might not be a short because on any of the capacitor, if it is giving any short, if it capacitor capacitor is more than 16 ohm, showing more than 16 ohm. It is not a short. That's what are uh, my experience. Uh, less than 16 ohm, then think about if it, it it is a short. Here on this coil, it is showing more than 16 ohm, but I never had experience on coils. But capacitor, I'm sure. But I will go for this area to really check first because that one I'm suspecting that might be having a less resistance because of this IC. Okay, anyway, uh, I will go for this option here. I can see uh, I can see it is less than less than 16 ohm and That might be a short Yeah, this is look like a short but this one I'm suspecting for both areas are beeping This is over 16 ohm. This is less than 16 ohm. I will go for this area to really check it stay with me I will just come back Okay, there is one more capacitor is beeping as you can see this one here and this is also less than 16 ohm and I will just go with this one as well. There we go. This is a confirmed short. I may need to find out either this which IC is getting getting short. Yeah, just stay with me, I will be back. I was inspecting the board I was able to identify one damaged part this is the capacitor that is damaged as you can see from the top and as well as this one is shorting too when I, beep, uh, when I put a multimeter on a beep mode and tested this one it is beeping and that this one as well I will just remove this capacitor and see if the beep goes away Okay, the beep didn't go away it's still there and that means this board is still shorted from somewhere and if I check this capacitor whatever I've removed okay this one is not shorted it is not beeping means mistakenly I have identified this one as a short capacitor but I will move forward and identify the short again yeah, this one is not shorting this one is good i'm just gonna put back this one and go for finding out the issue somewhere else okay i've just applied the capacitor again and i may try to inject the volt inside of this motherboard to see if i can find the short easily right now i can see here this was the glue which i was confused that this is something wrong with the capacitor but there was no issue with this one okay i'm moving forward to have a look at it while i was inspecting i found another capacitor this one i this time i just tried to rub this one this is just completely gone as you can see it is coming out it's next to the RAM slot and I'm going to remove this one and then to see if beep goes away because 
This time I'm sure it's gonna go away. As you can hear, the, if you can hear, the beep is completely gone away. And this capacitor is beeping. That means this was the shorted one. And this capacitor was the faulty one. Now I'm going to replace this one to see if the problem got resolved. I'm checking all the capacitors. Wherever there was a beep, all the beep gone away. And because of this capacitor, the entire motherboard was shorted. And now I'm going to replace this one. Stay with me, I will be back. This was the DC bat out line and this DC bat out VCC line. And this capacitor was shorted. I removed this one and replaced it with the new one. I just replaced it random. I, took, uh, I, take, I have taken out this one from a scrap board. A similar one, I just put it here. I'm just going to check the laptop to see if it works fine. I'm just going to go for the normal view and to see how it goes. Okay, this was the capacitor which was shorted and now it is there is no short. There was a beep here and as well as on the other side of the board. I was finding the beep on here. Is the BQ? Yeah, this is the one here, and still there is a beep here. I need to check why this one beeping as well because one shot has been removed, and the second one is still there. This should not be. Maybe because of that, something else has been burnt or I'll check this one why this one is beeping because this is the short too I'll just go for check the motherboard and to see maybe this IC is short to ground or any other capacitor might be having an issue I will just go and check check that one uh, check furthermore Anyway, I will look further as you can see these two capacitors were uh, shorted as well these these this problem has been resolved with DC bat out capacitor and now I'm just going for this short because here I can see more beep but that might be because of this IC because as you can see the ohms are really high and if I just go for the normal ohms normal multimeter ohm settings and you can see it's 21.1 I'm considering this one is not a short as I showed you before if it is over 16 uh, ohm then it might not be a short as you can see it is still 21 and here you can see it is now going to kilo ohm before it was very very less ohm like 2.3 or 3.4 something now this one has been resolved the second one we are i'm go just going to check it why th there is a short short on this ic as well I'll remove this IC to see if the short gets removed. Okay, after changing the capacitor, as you can see, the laptop turns on. And I'm just going to check it. Yes, it is turning on. I'll just see the display. And check back the laptop to show you the display. Okay, now I'm going to check the laptop to see if it displays. Yeah, it is displaying now and the problem has been resolved. Okay, I will show you one more thing. Uh, mistakenly, I have explained about the short. That was not the short and I was saying it is short all the time okay this I see <coughs> here this one if you see this one it is still beeping but the laptop is on this one is not shot to ground it is just beeping I'm not quite sure why it's doing like that maybe very less resistance that's the reason why but it is not shot to ground as you can see as you can see it is not shot to ground 
it is just beeping like this these two capacitors if i put in uh, on ground and then try there is no shot okay anyway the other problem has been resolved hopefully you like the video i'm just going to pack the laptop and give you the final display and that's it okay now i have turned on the laptop after packing it and it is working fine as you can see it's turning on okay the, it going it is going to windows and thanks for watching the video the laptop is good